Sausage fans from around the world have come to Johnsonville to pitch their ultimate big game sausage recipes to an elite panel of actual employees who have never judged anything in their lives. They are the Sausage Six. If these sausage legends deem the recipe worthy, it'll live on forever in the Johnsonville Big Game Binder. It's the most intense sausage reality series on the internet. Aaron, I want to compliment you on your earrings. This is Sausage Dome. Do you eat squash? Yes, I do. Oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. Bob, I'm with you. I'm not a squash eater. Oh, squash is good. My wife makes it. I throw it right out the back door. Aloha, judges. My name is Chelsea, and I'm from Orange County, California. My dish is called Spicy Touchdown Stuffed Bites. Spicy. Spicy. Touchdown, huh? My sausage... <laughs> I can't do this. Are you looking for a game day? Or <clears throat> I have not been in a cooking contest before. I was super nervous. I was like sweating and I was shaking. How did you come up with this idea? Um, it's actually inspired by my husband. He's half Italian, so in Italy they have things called arancini balls, which are risotto balls with marinara and cheese in the middle. So this kind of came from that. What kind of cheese is in there? String cheese. I see enough of this, let's try this. I was feeling a little nervous when I was watching them eat, because I couldn't really tell. They had a little bit of poker face going on. Hey Jeff, what do you think? It's got a great uh, Italian flavor in it. Really like the cheese in the inside of it. That's what I was going for. <laughs> the texture is great. It really has a good bite to it. Yeah, I felt a little different. The texture, it's, it's like it was dry on the outside. It's like it's a little tough when you first cut into it. I have to be honest, I'm not a spicy girl. I would probably try making it with a mild Italian. Well, Chelsea, uh, thank you for preparing this for us, so you may leave the sausage dome now. Okay, mahalo for your time. Hello, and welcome to the sausage dome. Tell us what your name is and what you have prepared for us. I'm Aaron, I'm from Washington State, and I've made you guys a football calzone. Well, I like that football part, so let's open that dome. Yes, sir. It's a really simple and basic kind of recipe. So it's chili and uh, cream cheese, equal parts. But I amped it up with using kielbasa sausage from Johnsonville and wrapped it inside there. How's the heat factor on that? The chili is Jeff, really what is it with you and the heat? I like spicy food. Oh my god. The chili is really mild, mixed with the cream cheese itself too. It really calmed it down. Well, I don't like spicy, but I like to eat my food while it's hot. So if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. Well, I like the way the flavors blend together. I guess I'm missing the chili in it. Like you say, you can use it with your hands to eat it. I really enjoy that rather than having the fork and the knife. Right. I mean, to me, it could almost be a glorified corn dog. Aaron, I want to compliment you on your earrings. Thank they you look awesome. Much. Thank you. Looks like I could maybe fit a brat in there. I, we might, we could try it, we could try it later. That would be more of a hot dog. Brats are too fat. We don't do hot dogs around here. Hello and welcome to the Sausage Dome. Thank you for having me, I'm, ve I'm very, very excited. My name is Mason Partak, I'm 13 years old, and today I have prepared for you the quarterback sneak mandarin mustard brat because it surprises you with flavor. It has a delicious mandarin pepper mustard with grilled onions and, of course, fresh mandarins on top. How long have you been cooking? Um, I've been cooking since I was about two or three. I was uh, baking with my mom in the kitchen. And then I started using a knife when I was four. Oh, 
This is the first time I've actually had sweet flavor on my brat, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Am I the only one here that thinks uh, orange should not be on a brat? No, I'm with you. Being in Wisconsin, I'm not sure people would like mandarin oranges on their brat. No. Young man, you got a lot of confidence bringing us sausage on a bun to the sausage dome. But I think you won me with this one. I didn't expect the mandarin. I love it, man. Thank you very much. Three amazing dishes, three amazing contestants. Chelsea's spicy touchdown bites. What do you guys think? I liked it. Great flavor with it. I wasn't a fan. I thought they were a little too large if you're going to have them for a party. I think really could have done some more with the presentation of it, but the flavor was right. Just maybe some more, something, something more aesthetic. So how about Mason's dish? It had mandarin oranges and mustard and a marmalade. Yeah, but I like that mandarin on there. How are you going to serve that at a party as an appetizer? Well, it's no different than having the ketchup, the mustard, the onions on it, like a traditional brat. So let's go to Aaron. Let's get to that calzone. Yeah, well, you know, for him to actually take that kielbasa and throw it in there with the cheese, you and know, the and chili. then you get the chili. I think it was really good. A lot of dough in that football calzone. I think we know who, who the winner is going to be. Well, okay, let's bring him back into the sausage dome. Well, look at Bob, he's, got, he's having a bad hair day, so okay. leave him alone. You wish you had hair done. like mine. This, this <laughs> God created that specially for me. Hi everyone, welcome back to the dome. Today's winner will not only be the sausage dome champion, but your recipe will live on forever in the Johnsonville Big Game Binder. Chelsea, the flavor was great but the presentation was lacking. Mason, who thinks to put mandarin oranges on a brat? Well, you did, and it worked. Thank you. Aaron, we loved that there was a kielbasa sausage in it, but it was a little bit messy. Underneath one of your domes is a pile of sausages. On a count of three, lift your domes and reveal the winner. One. Two, three. Oh my God. Chelsea, that means you're the Sausage Dome champion. It's almost like a dream. I, I, don't, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, awesome, thank you. It's just amazing that my recipe is just gonna live on forever in the big game binder. It's my lane. <laughs> My Hawaiian lay of sausage. <laughs> I'm Hawaiian, and now I have a sausage lay, which is very different. Next time, three more competitors enter the sausage dome. I was in a food eating contest and I ate 27 burgers.